fact that y'all sat there and got drunk with that girl and then didn't help her really don't sit right with me. Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo. What's good, y'all? It's your girl, it's Tori, and we're back up in this thing with another video. And today we're going to be talking about Zeus. Now, if y'all hear something like rain dropping on the window, I can't stand the rain. Okay, but if y'all hear that, it's because it's raining outside. It's supposed to rain all day. This is my type of weather. I'm finna be in the bed, okay? I'm finna be in the bed, okay? But anyway, we're gonna be talking about Zeus and um, this past episode with Smiley and how how disgusting they are. Like, Zeus already pissed me off because they only got one show and they don't win up and they want me to pay $7 for this bullshit, okay? But first, it was the whole Roly getting on my nerves, standing there looking like a rotisserie chicken with her knees buckled. And then E.T. came in looking like she got motherfucking scabies and eczema on her face. Like, like for real, like, I'm not even kidding. Because she's getting on my nerves. She's working my nerves. And the fact that she went and got her body done before her teeth, let me know everything I need to know about the bitch, okay? Everything I need to know about that bitch, okay? But, you know, and then, you know, the whole Biggie situation, that, that really, like, that really irked me. That really irked me. Number one, I wanted Biggie to set up for herself sooner. And number two, the way that, that um, they allowed Scarface to touch Biggie stuff, but wouldn't allow Biggie to touch Scarface stuff. See, they, they know what they're doing, okay? They, they know what they're doing. And we can go ahead and fast forward to this week because I really thought that this season was going to be over. Like, it's really not giving anything. It's giving a bunch of grown-ass women need to grow the fuck up. Like, grow up. Like, grow up. Like, Rolly, how old is you? And you handing out eviction notices? And y'all talking about, oh, they got to go. They got to go. Ain't nobody left. Ain't nobody left. So, who got the power? Who got the power? Natalie's supposed to be the EP but she acting like one of these chicken heads. Like, I really wish she would just go behind the scenes like she do in Bad Boys because she don't do nothing but stir trouble. She fake as hell. Because y'all remember that phone call when she was on the phone with Smiley and them? Anybody shot a Fuck you, dumb assholes. <laughs> like, girl, shut up with your big-ass chin, your crimson chin. Shut up. Moon face ass. But anyway, we're going to be talking about Smiley. This last episode um, was kind of disgusting to watch. And not because Smiley was doing all that throwing up and stuff like that. It was disgusting because you still see how divided these women are. And you can still tell that it's every woman for themselves. Like, if you a real baddie, even if you got beef with somebody, you're going to make sure they good. Because once you good, we're going to steal beef. We gonna steal beef, okay? If y'all see me like looking to the right, my little girl in the bathroom over there, and she is literally like... <laughs> making faces at me and I'm trying to keep it together and not laugh. She done popped up. She's trying to look at me through the through the door. <laughs> they went to Jamaica in this episode and um they were supposed to meet up somewhere. Um Natalie was standing there with her ball cap. She literally looked like a potato, like an Idaho potato with a hat on. And it's the fact that Sky is saying um we don't ever see Smiley drinking like that. It's kind of weird that this is happening. And, you know, everybody done rushed off the um the, the van or the bus to go do them. And I, I get that they're over Smiley. Because, you know, we're not going to take away from the fact that Smiley do be bullshit and she be throwing rocks out of her hands. Yes, we're we not going to skip over there. Okay, we know that. We know that's how she is. It's just the fact that when that, um, that little doctor or a little physician came up and had a little flashlight... And her pupils weren't responding. Baby, you can't fake that. You cannot tell your irises and your pupils to dilate. You cannot. Like, you can You literally cannot. Like, that's something you can't control. And when he said that, I knew for sure that this bitch was not faking. I knew for sure. I took a little bit of medical classes, baby. You can't fake that. The eyes, they say that's the window to the soul because you ain't got no control over that shit. It's just the fact that she, um, that one part when she had, you could see the vomit in her mouth like she was choking on that shit and they still try to say that girl was faking somebody please tell me how you can physically force yourself to have vomit and bile in your throat without going like this uh, please tell me because if she can she need to be in the damn Guinness uh what is it Guinness book of, of records yeah because if you can do that without uh, 
baby, you got a real skill. But the fact that Anna was recording and saying, oh, this girl faking, this girl faking, to Seki even kind of pissed me off too because she started off good. Like, she started off like this. Like, I'm going to teach you. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, team to sick. And now it's just, like, going downhill because it's lackluster. There's nothing coming from her. Like, after she whooped Marsh ass, it's like literally nothing else happened. Like, she's just there for the ride. Like, at this point, she's an extra. And I hate that because her sister would have gave us something for the books for the whole season. Every single episode if she was there. Y'all know Kashawn like to pop in and out. She like to do her own shit. But... Yeah, so it's the fact that nobody was in there helping her except Sky. And look, I'm not even gonna go, go gonna excuse Sky for slapping Smiley for almost throwing up on her because baby, that would have been my reaction. I'm not even I'm not even gonna scold her for that because baby, I would do the same thing. If I would have felt like you better throw up on me, what? and I'm still think, and I'm still make sure you're okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm still gonna make sure you good after I slap you to make sure you know. I'm not the bitch you gonna throw up on. Throw up on security. Security? Uh -huh. No, security! Throw up on security. No, throw up on me, baby. I'm sitting here trying to make sure you good, okay? So, you good? All right. <laughs> but, um, now, let's get to what really pissed me off. Idaho Potato, Natalie Nunn, the way she was screaming at Smile Love, baby, she's incoherent. You're supposed to be an executive producer. Why are you not behaving like an executive producer? Because let me tell you something. If it was real bad girls club, you know how quick them niggas came out the, the back to make sure that these hoes was good. And I'm not talking about talking shit. I'm talking about take the headset off. Like we work at a motherfucking uh, window at McDonald's. They would take the headset off and make sure these hoes was good and send them to a motherfucking hotel. Bitch, all you did was scold this girl. All you did was yell this girl. And I know for a fact that this girl was not faking because the pupils, the pupils, like I said, you cannot control your eyes. And it's the fact that this girl was literally choking on the shit. The fact that you was sitting there and doing all of this. The thing, the, the professional thing to do was to make sure Charlie was good. And then after all of that, when she was coherent, talk to her. Ask her what's going on. That's the issue with people. Nobody would have cared until this girl died. And that's what really is making me angry. It's really upsetting me because you can tell all they care about is their money. All they care about is the money. They don't care about this girl having seizures. They don't care about this girl being out of the country, being in another country. The first thing that crossed my mind when she started doing all of this was, was she popping pills? Did she take her medicine? What kind of medicine do she take? Because they said that she stopped taking her medicine. What kind of medicine is it? Did she decide to take her medicine that day and then start taking shots? Because everybody know that certain pills do not mix with alcohol and this is what happens. And then I saw she was drinking on that Hennessy. I saw that. She was drinking on that Hennessy. Hennessy ain't no joke. It's straight up corn syrup and, and gasoline and motor oil, okay? So I'm like, what did she take? Because it's not just alcohol. It could have been alcohol poison or it could have been a mixture of medicine Pills and liquor. The fact that they was discrediting this girl. Like, okay, if she was faking, I would treat it like a medical emergency. And then once she was coherent, then we would have had shit out. But right now, choking and having seizures and stuff like that. And it's just really disgusting. And Smiley is not my favorite, no. But it's just the fact that nobody gave a shit. Nobody cared. Sky was there fanning, making sure she was good. Sky was the only one. In a house full of women. In a place full of women. And nobody cared. They all just yelled at the girl. That really disgusted me. And the fact that Zeus really put that shit out. That really pissed me off. Y'all could have gave us a good episode. Y'all could have left that girl privacy. Private. And you could have gave us a better episode. Because. It just let us know that all y'all care about is money and views. Zeus and Miss Potato Head, Idaho Potato, Red Potato, Brown Potato, Potato Scallops. Like, sick of it. I'm sick of it. This episode really pissed me off. And it just shows that not everybody your friend, because I know they really didn't really fuck with someone like that, but the fact that y'all sat there and got drunk with that girl and then didn't help her really don't sit right with me. It don't sit right with me. 
So, yeah. Take this video how y'all take it. But really, at this point, I'm just disgusted with Zeus. And the fact that they're really charging a bitch $7 for one show at a time, it's starting to irk my nerves. Because I work hard for them $7. In this economy, $7, I can put it in my gas tank. Make it work. Make it home. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. Like and subscribe. It's sugar. Let's do real. And we about this thing. Let's watch some crazy stuff, yo.